chapter for marijuana in Maryland. Starting now, residents can apply for the first round of recreational cannabis business licenses. Yeah, but here's the problem. There are a lot of restrictions and requirements just to apply, and there are only 179 licenses up for grabs. Melissa Kim shows us the process. Northwest D.C. native Keisha Reed started using medical cannabis in 2017 for anxiety. And because of how much it's helped her, she's hoping to be one of the 179 selected for a license to sell recreational marijuana. It's been pretty emotional. I think um, when you have to think about the, the weight on your shoulders as it relates to getting to the license process, right? Even getting over the hump of being awarded a license. The Maryland Cannabis Administration says of those 179, a certain number will be allotted by county and region. And even then, there isn't a guarantee that every applicant who meets the qualifications will get a license. Well, a lottery is absolutely a chance, and I didn't win the big billion lottery that we had over the summer, so, you know, I'm not too bummed about that. According to Keisha, the fees to apply aren't as hefty as some other areas. Typically, an application fee can be four to five zeros as it relates to uh, the fee. Maryland has allowed this round to not go over 10K. So it starts as small as 1,000. But she says the finances have been by far the biggest stressor. I think that allows a little bit less of a, a trepidation entering into this process, but also if not me, who? She's hoping the investment will pay off in an industry that continues to take off because according to the State Cannabis Administration, sales of recreational cannabis among adults has grown by $2.1 million since August. Even if the license doesn't come through, the work that I'm doing is definitely full circle. Because of the narrative surrounding her personal experience with cannabis that she says she's working to change. I visited family members in federal prisons for you know, charges that were related to this to this plant, the over policing of my community to this plant. Now, Keisha also started a nonprofit to help anyone in Maryland who is interested in starting the process to apply for a cannabis business license. You can check it out at ExploreMarylandCannabis.com. Melissa Kim, WUSA 9.